All right, now I'm sure you all remember this next winner from our first season. He's the original, last comic standing. Please bring him to the stage with a huge round of applause, Dat Fan. From humble beginnings in San Diego came a relative unknown to the comic scene named Dat Fan. I knew comedy was for me when I was the only Asian in high school that failed math. In the house, Dat's castmates conspired against him. We were gonna play hide and go seek and get Dat to go hide, but nobody was gonna go look for him. We're around 19 minutes now, Dat's been successfully hiding from Ralphie. What the hell is wrong with you guys? <laughs> Dat proved himself as he took out his competition one by one. Dat fan! In the finals, he faced Ralphie May. Holy smokes! Dat fan. And ultimately beat him for season one's title of Last Comic Standing. You have to be a little crazy to really sacrifice everything to get what you want. But I love it. All right, here he is, the Asian invasion, that fan, that fan! Thanks, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, man. It's so good to be back. I'm so thankful to be back on Last Comic Standing, you know? I'm, th <laughs> I'm thankful to be one of the four Asians on TV, period. You know, because <laughs> we need more Asian role models. When I started out, you know, I had, I had one role model. I had Sulu on Star Trek. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Captain Sulu here, Dr. McCoy, looking for Poon on the planet P. You know Sulu, right? And I just found out my one hero, Sulu, he's gay. He just came out of the closet and he was a cock. But that's why my, my point is this, you guys. I'm telling you guys, because, you know, it's hard enough as it is being an Asian American getting, you know, movie roles. The only movies he could do now is Memoirs of a Gay Man and Brokeback Mount Fuji. That's all I can totally do. You know, see, some of you guys are laughing, some of you guys are like, I don't get it. When's he gonna start singing She Bangs? What the hell's happening here? <laughs> this, is the, <laughs> this is the guy on American Idol, right? Your mother on the groove, she banged, tie her shoes, thing like a bee, come on, she bang. <laughs> see, that's a better reaction than what I get in the South, because like some other parts of the country I go to, right? Like, they're, they're like, ah, boat people, damn boat people. Boat people. <laughs> like, why do they call Asians that? Like, why do they call us oh, boat people? Why are we the only ones that call the way we got here? Didn't we all get here by boat at one point or another? Like, we don't call the pilgrims the boat people. We don't call the Irish the boat people. We don't call the Cubans two inner tubes tied to a common cooler people. <laughs> so, <laughs> Everyone's like laughing with like four Cubans in the back, like, ha wait, that's us. Get up with the common cooler. Kill him with the common cooler, come on. <laughs> Actually, I, I was born in Vietnam, but I grew up in America. I played with American toys. I played with G.I. Joes. I love my G.I. Joes. You guys love G.I. You guys play with G.I. Joes? I love my G.I. Joes. But then I realized I was a Vietnamese kid playing with white soldiers for fun. <laughs> How confusing is that? What if you just pretend like I'm G.I. Joe and I hold myself hostage? We're winning! <laughs> we captured ourselves. What the... Now the toys suck. Like, they're made by crack addicts. Like, I tried to find some G.I. Joes for my nephews. I found glow-in-the-dark ninjas in the G.I. Joe force. <laughs> glow-in-the-dark ninjas. Doesn't that defeat the purpose of what a ninja's supposed to do? Like a ninja's supposed to be invisible in the dark. This guy's like, nobody can see me. I am glowing in the dark. What the hell going on here? <laughs> like, what's his code name? I'm obvious ginger. Can you see me right here? Kill me right here. I have an orange construction vest. Shoot me right now. <laughs> what the hell? You guys have seen that when Asian people get pissed off, we all say the same thing. Like, you try not to laugh. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Crap you! What the hell? What the hell is this when we're mad? We're like moving our arms when we're chopping chicken when we're pissed off? <laughs> what the hell? Ch Chicken's ready, chicken right there for you. For order. What the, <laughs> what the hell? Ch dinner time right there, combo plate number 64, for order. Come on, order. <laughs> I love food, man. I was touring with the East Meets West comedy tour and I was like out in the uh, Vegas and we were watching Iron Chef America. You guys love Iron Chef America? I love that show, it's great. I'm glad on Iron Chef America, though, they don't cook anything American on Iron Chef America. Because that'd be, like, really boring. You're like, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Chef Dwayne is working on a hamburger. <laughs> Our secret ingredient for today is Velveeta. <laughs> Chicken's ready. I love Iron Chef America. I love going on, on MySpace nonstop. 
I'm on MySpace. You know what I'm talking about? I, get, I take MySpace way too seriously, though. Like, you know you take MySpace way too seriously when you break up with your girlfriend and you take her off your top eight, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and then you replace her picture with Tom, you know? <laughs> and Tom, always, he always has your back, too. Like, hey, man, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Freedom. She got that, like, staring over the shoulder. But then she got back at me because then she replaced my picture with William Hung. <laughs> your mother on the grocery bang, come on. <laughs> I love MySpace, I love Iron Chef. The one thing I can't stand is going shopping with my mom, though, seriously. That gets really, you know, it gets really ghetto, because my mom, she loves, like, coupon shopping. Coupon, double triple, coupon, coupon, come on, double triple. She was like, she doesn't need scissors, she just uses her finger. Look at coupon, double triple, coupon, right there. Look at this, I'm Catwoman coupon for you, right there. It's so ghetto, like, like, but people at the grocery store hate my mom. They hate her, like, I don't, I don't even know if it's legal what she does with the coupons, you know what I'm talking She goes, look at that, man, look at this, we have $500 worth of groceries, $500. After coupons, ten dollars. Why you hate me? Oh, wait, two more. Boop, boop. Now you owe me $10. <laughs> Ain't no holler back, girl. Come on. I love dating all different girls. I, I especially date the white girls, you know? And it's like, I don't know what it is. It's, it's crazy. My mom can't stand it. I don't, know what it. I don't know what it is, but I feel like when I'm having sex with a white girl, I'm reuniting Vietnam and America. That's what I feel like I'm doing. <laughs> But mom, my mom has a hard time with her, you know what I mean? Like, she has a hard time, like, every time, that fact, look at her, she wanted. Look, she wanted. She was always saying, like, what she wanted all the time? Look at her, she's a, she's a, that fact, look, she's a whore, she's a whore. I can say anything, you know, no, this is, you know, this is Stacy, she's studying medicine, she's gotta be a nurse. Hey, everybody, look at me, I'm a nurse, that's a whore. I'm a nurse, that's a whore. I can say anything, like, this is DJ, she's gonna be a cheerleader. Hey, everybody, give, give me a D, give me a J, but it's spell whore, yeah, I'm a whore. I think one day I'm gonna bring home like an actual Asian girl, but she's like a prostitute instead. I'm like, hey mom, look at this girl, she's a whore. Hey, look at this girl, she's a nice girl. <laughs> she, she can have like a syringe sticking out of her arm, you know? Hey, look at her, she's studying medicine, she's gonna be a nurse. <laughs> she's so relaxed, she's laying down on a dumpster. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Dad Fan, you guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's good to be back. Let him know, Dad Fan, I shot Dad. Thank you, buddy. Dad Fan.